Hello viewers, welcome to Freelance and Design and welcome to Every Single Friday Tips. So basically we are going to talk about uh, Wacom drawing tablet and its pain pressure. So pain pressure is basically like our real life experience, uh, like when we draw, if you press harder the line will be bold and if you press lighter the line will be uh, very thin. So basically this is how uh, the drawing process works. So Wacom has made that digital so we can use the Wacom drawing pad and make pen pressure in our digital work. So this is basically everybody knows those who are connected to design industry and blah blah. The problem I faced when I bought Wacom device first, uh, I could use the pen pressure in Adobe Photoshop just fine but in Illustrator it was a big mess. At that point, uh, I was trying to make some uh, custom design brush so that we can make the pen pressure perfect. So basically, this video I am going to show you how to activate the pen pressure in a Wacom driver. I am using Wacom into a Pro. So after activating the driver and pen pressure in the Photoshop, I will try to show you how to uh, make the pen pressure active on the Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I will show you two steps. One step is uh, not that effective. The pen pressure doesn't work, work that good. But the second one that was made by me, the custom one, that will be, I guess, helpful for you. I will even give you the uh, preset of the brush. You can download from the description. Uh, link is given. So thanks. Uh, check out my video. If you like it, thumbs up and we'll give you on every single Friday. So after installing the Wacom driver in your PC, you will see there's an app called Wacom Tablet Properties. Um, this is the default app for Wacom devices. As you can see, the device is already detected into a Pro Medium uh, using the grip pen and all the applications are supported. Uh, basically, it will use as a mouse pointer, a mouse, but it can make pen pressure active. So, uh, this app actually uh, makes it active. You can see there are more uh, settings but I suggest you to lift it uh, as it is uh, as you are just learning. So this is the main uh, app. You can connect the Wacom device with your PC through uh, cable or wireless device. My one is connected through wireless. So after connecting the pen pressure already activated but when you are in Photoshop let's make a document pen now we're going to click on brush or oh, to big some around 23 15 or 21 is fine so right now pen pressure is not activated so let's see what happens oops need to use black colors right we're going for more solid brush this one 21 as you can see uh, I think it's already activated because I used it so when you are going to brush settings normally it stays like this no pen pressure as you can see everything is same but you need to go there shape dynamics you can see there pen pressure is activated when this act activated it will go from thinner to thicker and in the end thinner you can make more adjustment angle angle jitter roundless jitter as you need so now we can test out the pen pressure here you can see very lightly and when you press harder you can see that 
light 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 deep 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 as you can see so pain pressure is activated this is how a pen pressure works in Adobe Photoshop so Photoshop is basically very easy things to do one more time as you can see pen pressure is activated so really simple all you need to do activate the shape dynamics and pen pressure that's it so Photoshop is very easy but when it comes to Illustrator new document so if you are trying to use pen pressure here the brush tool is selected you can see it's not working so how to make pen pressure activated in Adobe Illustrator the brush did not work out that well so there are two ways to make it happen the first one is making a new brush calligraphic brush and then make the pressure activated here select the variation you want I'll leave it on 40 and the size make the pen pressure activated here too and the variation goes to the top so going from thin to thicker and then select the new brush and try to draw some lines uh, pen pressure is activated but not that effective not that fluent like Photoshop Photoshop was really fluent and really good to use but the fact is Photoshop is not a vector software so this method is not that effective but I used to use this method for a very long time so after that this is the new method the second one uh, I have given you a template Wacom brushes it uh, the link is on the description you can download download the Wacom brushes AI file and open it on Adobe Illustrator so after opening it up uh, you will see there are some brush preset there so normally when you select the brush and start drawing you'll see no pen pressure activated so select one of them uh, I use the fourth one art brush 3 th third one uh, a lot a lot so when you select that one and use the brush you will see the pen pressure is activated as you can see from thin to thick to thin again the funny fact is you can control it any way you want right you can click on it and make the depth even more bold or you can reduce it as you want so even after drawing uh, you have the full capability of editing it like uh, Photoshop doesn't give you that so there are uh, five six eight brushes there you can use any one of them and every every one is different second one third one the most used fourth one fifth one sixth one everyone has different aspect of using it uh, the last one is also good the most used one is third one because it is the uh, it actually look like pen pressure is activated so I use it a lot for the mascot logo and other illustration so I hope this will help you out so this is basically you can edit it anyway after even after drawing you can go there you can increase the size decrease the size as you want it very much simple and one more funny thing you can use this brush presets on pen tools too like selecting the pen tools making a curve as you can see uh, the next video will be on pen uh, pen tools so I will leave just on basic here leave the basics so the line select any preset and the pen tools turns into a pain pressure activated line it looks like drawn with pain pressure activated brush which is not so basically it's a life hack on illustrator 
so even if you don't have a wacom driver you can use this preset and make make it look like pain pressure activated illustrate illustration so if you are new into wacom device still trying to find out how to activate print pressure on adobe illustrator which is really complicated so this will be a i hope this will be a very good video for you it, it must help you out so if you like the video please leave a like comment share anything and i will see you in the next video happy designing